a federal judge ordered Steve Bannon, the one-time advisor to former President Trump, to begin his four-month prison sentence in July as he appeals his contempt of Congress conviction. I've got great lawyers, and we're going to go all the way to the Supreme Court if we have to, but I want to say something specifically about the Justice Department. Merrick Garland, Lisa Monaco, the entire Justice Department, they're not going to shut up Trump. They're not going to shut up Navarro. They're not going to shut up Bannon, and they're certainly not going to shut up MACA. If you look right here, you reporters, in the two and a half or three years we've been here, look at the rise of MAGA, look at the rise of Donald Trump. If the election was heard, uh, held today, according to Harry Enten over at CNN, President Trump would win in a landslide. All of this, besides the major legal issues that have to be addressed, all of this is about one thing. This is about shutting down the MAGA movement, shutting down grassroots conservatives, shutting down President Trump. Not only are we winning, we are going to prevail, and every number and every poll shows that. There's nothing that can shut me up and nothing that will shut me up. There's not a prison, there's not a prison, there's not a prison built, there's not a prison built or a jail built that will ever shut me up all victory to MAGA. We're going to win this. We're going to win at the Supreme Court. And more importantly, we're going to win on November 5th in an amazing landslide with the Senate, the House, and also Donald J. Trump back as President of the United States. Thank you very much. Bannon's bold remarks come in the wake of his sentencing, highlighting his unwavering support for Trump and his relentless critique of the political establishment. Despite facing incarceration, Bannon's rhetoric remains as combative as ever, positioning him as a steadfast voice within the Trump-aligned faction of the Republican Party.